How did Desha convince L.E. Greed? Noel L.E. Greed, president of the French Football Federation, FFF, initially wanted to extend Didier Desha contract until 2024. But the captain Les Blues successfully convinced the head of the FFF about a contract until 2026. According to the Daily L'Equipe, Desha and L.E. Greed first sat together on December 29th in Gangamp. In terms of opinion, both sides are willing to extend the expired contract after the 2022 World Cup. I love Desha and I know Desha also loves me, Ellie Greed once expressed to the press about the good relationship between two people. At the 2022 World Cup, Desha has fulfilled the target set by the FFF to reach the semi-finals. Even after the victory over England in the quarter-finals, Ellie Greed wanted to renew with the French coach. However, the head of the FFF only wants to continue to sign until 2024. The reason is that it is the time of the FFF presidential election, Ellie Greed does not want to burden his successor, in case he fails to be re-elected. And be responsible for a coach from the old term. But on the negotiating table, Desha still maintained his desire to attend the 2026 World Cup with France. The 54-year-old strategist expressed his firm belief in the talented generation of the French team that will continue to conquer the heights in the future. Desha is also committed to renewing the look of Les Bleus so that they have the best team for Euro 2024 and the 2026 World Cup. Ellie Greet eventually had to give in to Desha and agree to continue to sign until 2026. According to L'Equipe, salary is not an issue at all on the negotiating table. The biggest problem was that the contract period was finally resolved. However, knowledgeable people in France believe that Desha does not automatically hold the seat until 2026. It is likely that L.E. Greed has an additional clause on achievements at Euro 2024 as a condition for Desha to keep the seat. That's normal with a four-year contract and across two major leagues. In addition to Desha, most of his close assistants have been contracted by right-hand man Guy Stefan, goalkeeping coach Frank Raviot and fitness coach Cyril Moyne. The contract of Dr. Frank Legal will be reviewed separately. The fact that Desha renewed with the FFF was actually leaked earlier. That's why Karim Benzema announced his retirement from the France team right after the World Cup ended, because the 35-year-old striker learned that Desha continued to lead Les Blues. The relationship between the two teachers and students deteriorated in Qatar when Benzema returned to Madrid to treat an injury and Desha did not care about the number one striker of the French team. Benzema then refused to return to the final, despite being completely healthy, believing he was not welcomed by Desha. El Equipe also revealed that El Egrit never called Zinedine Zidane. The president of the FFF has not thought of any other name but Didier Desha. That explains why L.E. Greet was sure to renew with Desha right from the win over England in the quarter-finals of the World Cup in 2022. L.E. Greet's faith in Desha comes from a safe choice attitude. Desha is clearly someone who knows how to take France far in major tournaments after reaching the final of Euro 2016, winning the 2018 World Cup and the final of the 2022 World Cup. Desha also knows and has a good relationship with many people. Generation of players from the age of Griezmann, Loris to the young generation of Mbappe or the latest is Kolo Muani, Marcus Thuram. Benzema's former agent reacts. Karim Jazuri, Karim Benzema's former agent, expressed disappointment over Desha contract extension. Continued in the position for four years while he has been in this chair for ten years and the door for Zidane continues to close. Not to mention the taxpayer dollars that will be wasted if the future president of the FFF fires Desha, Jazuri wrote on Twitter.